Park Entertainment is proud to present the following previews of coming attractions. In 1788, King George entered the 28th year of his glorious reign. I wish you the best of health, Father. Wish me, wish me. You wish me death, you plump little cuckoo. <laughs> it was an age of nobility. Mrs. King. Mr. King. A time of harmony. You're a good little woman, Mrs. King, and we have been happy. It was a monarchy destined to endure. Stop! Long live the king! But destiny would have to wait. <laughs> Ah, mind your own business. He was all powerful. If Your Majesty would just lift your leg. I'm the king, you lift my leg. All knowing. The colonists. They're now called the United States. Goodness me. What the fuck? But he wasn't quite all there. Hello there, Georgie boy. I want you to hand over Gibraltar to Spain and see if you can get Minorca in return. I'm a physician, sir. Well, then you should have no difficulty. What would happen if the king were ill? Her Royal Highness would have to be declared regent. King in all but name. Is he ill? He's not well. His Majesty is just a man. His Majesty is out of his mind. It's unthinkable. Do you think that you are mad? I hear the words, so I have to speak. I was given to understand you might be able to cure His Majesty. Oh, well, I can oh. cure him, Mr. Bate. I'm just not sure what's wrong. I make the weather by means of mental powers. The King! incapacitated. If a few colonists in America can send him packing, why can't we? He is to rule in your place. By whose authority? Now is the time, Charles! Give us the wisdom of America. From the award-winning director of Miss Saigon, the Samuel Goldwyn Company presents a story. It was something he ate. About a time of grace, grandeur, and the delicate balance of power. <laughs> Smiling, babe. It's what you're paying. The madness of King George. How is your majesty? Fat lot, you care. God save the king. And um, so on. I want to buy the rights to this book, and I want to do something with it. A movie. <laughs> What's funny? You're frightened of dying, was that it? <laughs> no. You owe the state of Florida. $147,956. Are you threatening me? Is that a threat? Are you going to ask him for money? OK, Lauren, it just sounds like I'm asking. Not really. What about your condo? We could float it. Use an offshore bank. Nobody knows. What if it's in my wife's name? That's all right. We're not doing any more of this, OK? I thought you were trying celibacy. I am. We'll try harder. You lie a lie. Does that bother you? Am I? I lie. I don't do it right, though. I always lie at the end when I'm scared and I don't get anything. Hello. I'm Roger. Perhaps I can help you. It's a personal matter. <laughs> well, getting personal is what we're all about here. New York! Never been to Shea Stadium? Bad night. Everybody with the bats. 50,000 fat wheeled and sociopaths. Security's very tight. I have a private booth in the circle. This is through GE. What are you? Face facts. You're a guy in a suit. Then wants to sit at the grown-up table talking movie deals. Go, get money. He wants the cash, all the, all the cash up front, or he's not going to give me the rights. I have a thought. Thought, Ron. Yes. Who's with the money? These are my clients, Mr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That's funny, huh? What's it look like? There's got to be a way out of this, because my brain is gone, and I can't even think anymore. Everything up to this moment is the past. It's not your adventure, but it's definitely your life. Let me have the gun. The gun? Yeah. <laughs> it's my turn. Let me have it. You can't have an adventure without a gun. This isn't an adventure, Kim. This is business. I met my wife. Then there was Jeff. And I made up my mind, no matter what, he'd be his own man. And I knew that I'd love him. But he drives me screaming up the wall sometimes. Jeff and his dad have a unique relationship. It's high time you start thinking about a family of your own. Find some nice young fella, get set up in life. One based on mutual respect. I don't want to live in a world that just begins and ends with being gay. 
I like having all sorts of people around, kids and old folks. And mutual misunderstanding. Even fancied a couple of the girls. Done it with a few of them just to make sure I wasn't missing out on anything. You've done it with girls? You never told me that. Yeah. I didn't want you to get your hopes up going out. Well, as a matter of fact, I am. I thought I'd just pop down to the pub for a couple of beers. Right? Got a date. How does a son ever find romance? I bring blokes back all the time. <laughs> Not there's that many, I mean. With a dad who doesn't know when to get lost. Up your bum. Ah. It's just a joke. Dad's always making jokes. The Samuel Goldwyn Company presents a comedy. How many pairs of my socks did you borrow? I can almost see your religion. About the true value of family. Love. The greatest adventure of all. Your grandmother said it once. I'll never forget it. Is that why she became a dyke? Your grandmother was not a dyke. A lesbian, perhaps. The some of us. Some of you will be going, uh, probably. Sonorizar Esa man 